Hello, everyone. Sad day for law enforcement in the state of Wisconsin today. As far as Milwaukee, this is what we know so far. The investigation is ongoing, and we'll provide uh, to you more information later on today, if not tomorrow morning. At 1.35 a.m., a Milwaukee police officer was killed while driving home after the end of his tour of duty. The officer was identified as Ku Her. Officer Her was a two-year veteran with the Milwaukee Police Department and also assigned to District 4. Officer Her was driving southbound on North 60th Street, crossing West Capitol Drive, when he was struck by the suspect who was traveling westbound on Capitol Drive, crossing 60, North 60th Street. Per witness statements, the suspect was traveling at a high rate of speed and crossed the intersection through a red light when he struck Officer Her. The witnesses who we want to thank not only stayed at the scene, but helped the police in apprehending the suspect by giving us the direction of travel and allowing us to catch up to the suspect and take him into custody. Officer Herr was conveyed to Freighter Hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. He was then conveyed to the medical examiner's office where an autopsy will be conducted. Currently, the investigation of the accident is being conducted by the Wisconsin State Patrol. The suspect is in custody. He's 34 years of age, Milwaukee resident. He has four OWI convictions in the state of Wisconsin in his most recent in May of 2017. He is on probation for that one. We want to thank the Wisconsin State Patrol, Freighter Hospital for their efforts, John Andrus and Andrus Limousine for assisting us in transporting Officer Her to the medical examiner's office, and again, the citizens that helped in this investigation. Also, additional information about Officer Her. He is a two-year veteran with the Milwaukee Police Department. Again, he was assigned to District 4. He has no children and is survived by a wife, six brothers and two sisters, his mother and his father who served in Vietnam. Along with this, his father was very proud to have the first son in the family to be a police officer and serve our community. We will be grieving, but we will be moving forward and again, allow us this time to gather our thoughts and, and pray for the Her family and the members of District 4. At this time, I will let, uh, have the mayor come up and say a few words. Thank you, Chief. Once again, we're seeing a tragedy for the Milwaukee Police Department and an officer for the Milwaukee Police Department. My sympathies and the sympathies of the residents of the city of Milwaukee go out to Officer Her's wife his brothers and sisters and his parents. Um, this is a difficult time as we've had before in the last year to lose a police officer. Um, and I want the residents of this city to know um, and to appreciate the work that's done by our police officers. Uh, officer Herr had just completed his tour of duty uh, and like all of us wanted to drive home safely. Because of a person running a red light, uh, he is now no longer with us. So again, I want to extend my condolences to the family, um, to the police department, um, and we ask that we keep his family and all members of the Milwaukee Police Department in our prayers. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, this is uh, a sad day for this city, a uh, sad day for the state, and uh, For me, it's 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 very it's very difficult to to think about because the intersection where that officer uh, was killed is not far from my house. It's an intersection that I drive on literally every single day. Uh, it's an intersection that my wife travels every <coughs> single, every single day with 
our three children, our three small children. And over the course of the last year, the Milwaukee Police Department, members of this law enforcement community have sacrificed so much. And I'm sure that there are those of us in the room or those of us within the sound of my voice that have had to deal with the loss of multiple family members over the course of uh, a year's time. But just to imagine uh, the, the pain and the loss that members of this department have felt over that time. Mahulski, Rittner, Irvine, and now Officer Hurt. It's sad and it's tragic and it's also unnecessary. It's unnecessary because somebody made a choice. Somebody made a choice, a choice to drive through a red light and, and take the life of a, of a public servant, another public servant gone. It's a sad day, it's a sad day because of the actions of because of the actions that somebody decided to take on their own. I have nothing but uh, respect and condolences to give to Officer Her uh, and to Officer Her's family. And uh, I'm actually kind of sick uh, to my stomach because again, that, that's an intersection that my family passes through, that a number of families pass through. And somebody made a decision that now allows, or does not allow for an officer to return home to his family, to his mother, to his father, to his brothers, and to his wife. And it's unfair, and it's not right, and it shouldn't happen, and it doesn't need to happen. My condolences to this family. Thank you. All right. At this point, we'll take two uh, questions, and again, we will have more information as the investigation uh, Officer Who Her K O U Who Her H E R. Was anybody else injured in this uh, crash? Or? The suspect was also also being treated for injuries. How old was Officer Her? I'll, I'll release personal information later on. I'll release his photo and then I'll further investigate. Was he driving? We'll release more information as we go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming.